Hey there, thanks for watching. I'm in Manila and I'm on Ugbo Street in Tondo and I've been told that this is a hotspot for street food in Manila so we're going to go and check it out. Let's see what we can get our hands on. Okay, let's do it. Go. Okay, I think we're going to have some chicken guts. Okay, it came very quick. I knew this was going to happen. <laughs> I knew this was going to happen, but it's come very quickly. In the piece, it's the first one. What do you recommend? I think this, this one's very famous, isn't it? Yes. I've seen this one before. What's that? The, yeah, let's try, let's try one of those. And I think I need to try one of these. And let's try some other things as well. And with that, the guys at Rose's Barbecue take me on an intestinal journey of their smorgasbord of offerings, including much-loved Pinoy favourites like Bucci, chicken esophagus, and Balloon Balunan, aka chicken gizzards. Skewered, marinated and seasoned, and neatly stacked before me cheek to jowl, ready for the grill. They've given me the... Uh the, the Westerner friendly one first, so I just dip it in there like that. Yeah. All right. Okay. So, vinegar, chili, onion, probably garlic. Yep. All right. Let's give it a go. And what's on the outside? It's like a barbecue sauce. Okay. Hmm. Yeah. Tasty. I have had something similar to this before, but not with the vinegar. Hmm. Oh, hey, it's really good. I like it. Recommend that one. Okay, now which one do you want them to cook? I think that one. This one looks the scariest to me. <laughs> so, the chicken intestine. Is that the intestine of just one chicken? Yes. It's that long. Okay, alright, let's try it. <laughs> I don't think I can do them all. Um, I don't have the guts, literally. Okay, first one out of the bag is what they call isao. And basically it's chicken intestine. So I've never really tasted this in the Philippines before, so let's give it a go. I'm not sure what's on it. But it... Oh, it's not as chewy as I thought. Um, a little bit rubbery, but um, not too bad. Not too bad, I'm surprised. Got a little bit of sweet sauce on it as well, which, you know, makes it a bit tastier. <laughs> Next one is... Hey. Hey, what's this one? What's that? What is it? Is it uh, chicken? Is it? It's chicken? Is it? Chicken what? What is it? I don't know what this is. I have no idea. Maybe it's liver. Maybe it's chicken liver. Let's give it a try. Oh, that's chewy. That tastes like heart. I think it's heart. It's not chicken bum. It's not chicken bum, is it? It's chicken bum. I have no idea what that is, but it's very chewy. It's not liver. What is it? Balloon balloonan. What bal what balloonan? What balloonan? Very crunchy. Kind of bitter. So it might be. Okay, so, 
Our second one for the, the night is empanada, of course made famous by the Spanish. I think the Spanish brought it here. It's really fucking hot. Hey, there's a sausage in the bottom. Ah, sauce. But yeah, I haven't had too many of these recently. The first one I had was actually up in Ilocos years ago when I first came to the Philippines and it was absolutely amazing. Inside there's, I think, pork mince, onion, egg, I don't know what else, God knows what else. And uh, this one here, they actually put a bit of colouring in it. Um, so it turns out orange. Now it's huge, this, and it's piping hot. Oh, quite good, quite good. I've got a bit of the, the crunchy top at first. <laughs> I'm just waiting for that egg to burst out down my chin. Mm. Yeah, tofu. Savory, hot. I don't know how to open that and put that on. That'd be really good, but I can't I can't manage it at the moment. Uh, looks like a kind of Almost looks like fish sauce, but I don't think it is. It's like a soy sauce mix, I'd say. Probably a little bit sweet, no doubt. Let's see if we can get some of the egg. Mm. It needs the sauce. Yeah, put a little bit of that on it. Ah, oh, it's vinegar. That's what it is. Of course, it's vinegar. It's so hot. But yeah, it's pretty mild. It's pretty mild, but it's tasty. It's tasty, hits the spot, and it's good shit. <laughs> it is good shit. How about this one? How about the lattice? This one to uh, no, Mamausina Sal, sizzling. Would you like the experience? <laughs> the, sizzling, the sizzling, the yeah, sizzling experience. Yeah, but... Sizzling. But... Rather than as sizzling. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay. Do you know sizzling? I know sizzling. Thank you so much. So up a dark back alley I go, following a complete stranger who promises to lead me to something hot and sizzling that she says will leave me begging for more. Oh, oh my god. This country's gonna kill me. <laughs> yeah. I can smell the butter. Yes, oh sir. So sweet. Yeah, you didn't tell me it was so big. Okay, so our squiddy has arrived and look at that, what a piece of work. It's huge, absolutely huge. When I got suckered into coming to this place by Aya, um, she said something about sizzling squid and my, um, my thoughts were that it was gonna be very small, but it's very big. Inside is uh, onion, capsicum, pepper, Rice, I think she said, maybe is stuffed inside as well. We'll find out anyway, I'm not really sure. And then it's coated in some kind of sweet sauce. Unli, we're gonna talk about Unli. When you come to the Philippines, they talk about Unli this and Unli that, and it's short for unlimited. And at this place here, at Mama's house, it's Unli rice, Unli iced tea, Unli soups. So we've got a couple of soups here. I think this is like a uh, sort of a bone broth. This one here, some kind of gravy, I think. I haven't really tried it yet. So Unli, keep that in mind. And it's also, uh, there's Unli entertainment here as well. It's karaoke. So you can come here, eat, get up, do some karaoke, and have, hopefully, some Unli beers as well. So let's get into it. I'll cut it right down the middle, I think, so we can get a good look at it. And um, blunt knife, by the way. So this is fairly tender, this 
Squiddy. And look at that inside. I haven't had one like this before. Look at that. Packed. Packed with onion, tomato. Uh, what did I say? Um, I think there's chili. There we go. There's some chilies in there as well. Looks really good. Let's give it a try. Ah. Hmm. Yeah, tasty. Pretty tangy with the with the chili. I'll put a bit more chili on there. She put a massive chunk of butter on the pot on the on this thing, and I can taste that right now. But um, the squid's really nice. It's tender. Tastes fresh. And this is her specialty here. Mama's specialty. Mm. Thank you very much. Merry Christmas. He called you an Americano. Mm, very good. All right. I'm going to get stuck into the Unli rice and the Unli soup and the Unli gravy and Unli tea and the Unli karaoke. Unli caroling. <laughs> and Unli caroling. <laughs> I wasn't expecting that. So we're gonna finish up with dessert. What is it? What is this? Yeah. What's What's special putta bong bong. So what is it in English? What's putta? Uh, putta uh, bamboo rice. Bamboo rice. Nice. Bamboo rice. Oh, bamboo rice. Inside. Okay, cool. Yeah, right. Bamboo rice. And so what happens? The rice, the rice goes in there. And then what? Butter. Oh my God, butter again. Okay. So it's ube. And then you put the rice in? Yeah. Okay. Ube is like a taro. It's a purple taro. It's like a root. Yes. Kind of a root crop thing. Actually, ube is a purple yam, and it's a massive favourite here in the Philippines. There's ube ice cream, ube shakes, and ube cakes. It wouldn't surprise me if there's even ube lechon kawali. It's that popular. This particular puto bumbong turns out to be a special one, available just for Christmas. So I'm keen to find out what all the hype's about. We had to drag him off the basketball court. The basketball court's there. So we had to call him over and here he is now. Yeah. So not a bad lifestyle, hey? Business and pleasure. Look at this, here we go. I still don't know what's happening here. I don't know what... It's heating up. And does it go into there? Here we go. Okay, steaming up. Steam's coming out. Got something happening here. Tip it in. Okay. Who came up with this idea? Who came up? Who came up with this contraption? Coconut. <laughs> I wasn't expecting that. Okay, it looks tasty though. Yeah, in the coconut as well. Oh, no more butter. No more butter. No, no, it's okay. It's okay. Yeah. There's a lot of butter on it already. Okay, what's this? Is it um, cheese? I've got to psych myself up for this one. Not really sure where the, where the cheese part comes into this. So rice, steamed rice with ube and coconut, very tropical. Oh my god. And I, I held back on the butter as well. <laughs> How do I eat this? 
without dying. All right, okay, all right, thank you. All right, so let's give this a go. I just don't know where the cheese comes in. Maybe it's buffalo cheese, do you think, or just processed? Because you've got all these tropical flavours and then you put this cheese on it. It's odd. Anyway, here we go. We'll just... Yeah, let's try. Hmm. Not as sweet as I thought it was going to be. Um, obviously the condensed milk, I can taste that. But it's quite light. Full of calories. Full of calories, but it's quite nice. Quite mild. Delicious. Very delicious. delicious. Bamboo rice. Yeah, your, your time is full, right? Okay, that's it for Ugbo Street in Tondo. It's intense. We got here at about 5 o'clock, 5.30 on a Monday. Uh, it's not even Christmas yet. We've got about another nearly 10 days to go till Christmas. And now it's about seven, I think. We spent a couple of hours here and it's pumping. So if you're gonna come here, make sure you get here early. Uh, unless you enjoy the crowds and the, the traffic and all that sort of stuff, maybe come about seven o'clock. Cause actually there's a whole lot more stalls out uh, compared to when we came. Um, would I come back? Uh, probably I'd come back later in the evening. I noticed that there's a few bars and things opening up as well, so it might be worth checking out. I'm pretty happy to be going home though. I've had plenty to eat, um, had a couple of drinks, which is great, and great experience all around. So uh, I'll leave directions in the description so you can find it if you're interested. It's a bit of a trek. It's right out near the port somewhere, and now we've got another probably two hours to go. <laughs> Um, to get back home to Las Piñas on the other side of town, so wish me luck. Yeah.